This is the story of how I made the greatest clone of Geometry Dash ever seen on Scratch. It all began one day when I turned on my computer and realized that the other two Geometry Dash clones I had made previously, Egg Dash and Spooky Dash, were actually total garbage. Why do I say that? Well, there are a couple of reasons which I'll get to, and so I began work on an update. At first I decided to make the update Minecraft themed because I figured it would get a lot of views. I later decided against this, but for now, enjoy some Minecraft graphics. Graphics. The first reason that Egg Dash and Spooky Dash are, in fact, total garbage is the physics. Physics are arguably the most important part of any game, especially a platformer, because they are what your player will interact with the most, far more than any art or other mechanics. The physics in my Geometry Dash are actually quite a bit different than the physics in the real Geometry Dash. My player is quite a bit slower, and the jump and gravity are completely messed up. Therefore, it was crucial that I fix this, which I did, after tweaking numbers for a couple of hours. And just to be certain that the physics were exactly like the original Geometry Dash, I rebuilt Stereo Madness in my game's editor and played through the whole thing with no problems. The second reason my Geometry Dash is terrible is lag. 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 Scratch games are kind of notorious for running slowly, especially on bad computers, but in a game like Geometry Dash, this is a catastrophe. I can't really fix the lag because I can't make Scratch run any faster than it does and my code is already as close to perfectly optimized as possible, but I can make the existence of the lag matter less by implementing delta timing. Delta timing is a calculation I can use to make sure that regardless of the number of frames calculated per second, the game will appear to run at the same speed by checking for how much time has passed since the last frame and compensating for delays. This also means that using the Scratch Mod Turbo Warp, you can run the game at 60 frames per second without it speeding up. Also in Turbo Warp, I made it so you can play in widescreen. It was at this point that I decided Minecraft graphics in Geometry Dash don't look very good, so I needed a new theme for the game. There was only one possibility in my mind, Cheese Dash. I designed a piece of Swiss cheese, but seeing it bounce around all full of holes started to give me trypophobia, and I deleted it. I decided instead to make Pig Dash. Why Pig Dash, you ask? Well, there are three reasons. The first reason is that pigs are pretty awesome. The second reason is the same as the first reason, but in all caps, and with exclamation marks. The third reason is that the last time I shared a project with Pig in the title, it got 11,000 loves and over 300,000 views. So I designed some pigs, and then, suddenly, I had a terrible realization. If I'm going to make a Geometry Dash clone, that means I need to design some levels. Designing levels is hard work, and I am lazy. Uh-oh. But it was fine, you see. I had a plan. I summoned my sister and bestowed upon her the burden of level design. She designed two levels in my place, which were actually surprisingly good, with some interesting designs and good music synchrony. However, it wasn't good enough. A measly two levels? But last year I had three! And so I spent an entire day, from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed, designing a level. And I forgot to eat, and so by the end of the day I was just starving to death. I looked like an emaciated corpse, but at last I had another level level. Then the next day I did the exact same thing. Grass? Never heard of it. It was then that I updated the main menu and skin select screen to be pig themed instead of Halloween themed, and the skin select screen says choose your zass, which is a reference to the time a Geometry Dash scam website stole two of my games, because that happened. What the f*** is a zass? At this point, I thought the tale of Pig Dash was over. I had made improvements to the game, designed four levels, and I was ready to share it as soon as I finished editing this video. I had made a post in my community tab announcing the game, and to my surprise, GD Colon, a YouTuber even more famous than Griff Patch himself, was like, call me up as a guest level designer. So I was like, okay. And I didn't know how to add him on Discord because I don't really use Discord, so I sent him an email. After a bit of back and forth, we did get the conversation onto Discord. Remember that Geometry Dash scam website I mentioned that stole two of my games? Well, GD Colon and I both have beef with them over blatant plagiarism and creative laziness, so we decided it would be funny to plagiarize a game from their website and bring it onto Scratch. Colon sent me the assets for their game Christmas Dash, which is kind of a stolen version of my game Spooky Dash, and I added the assets to Pig Dash, and then sent the project back to Colon for him to build a level. A revenge on Geometry Dash Dash.io would finally be realized, at least until they steal Pig Dash and add it to their website. 
which will probably happen within a couple of days. Also around this time, I gave the community level editor of my game a huge overhaul, and it now actually has a nice little user interface. You can select blocks and place them and stuff. It's a lot better than the old system with no user interface anyway, where to switch blocks you had to press numbers on your keyboard to cycle through the tile categories. Ugh. Oh, I also added portals that switch your gravity. Finally, the game was complete. As I upload this video, I'm also sharing the game on Scratch, where you can play it for free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is.